Jumping off a bridge didn't sound like a crazy idea to some people in West Virginia this weekend. On Saturday, hundreds of base jumpers plunged off a 900-foot bridge at the New River Gorge just for fun. For the tens of thousands attending Bridge Day 2016, it's all about seeing the, uh, the iconic state symbol, from a different perspective. That looks like a lot of fun. You've had your, <laughs> your jumping experience before. That I think you're done. That gave me some flashbacks. <laughs> gave me the butterflies in my belly watching all that. Yeah, no, that's awesome. I, they had beautiful weather for that yesterday uh -huh. and still gorgeous weather today. We have a beautiful picture of our sunrise, or sunset rather. What time of day is it? Sunset, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sun setting here in Hazard looking gorgeous out there. Skies looking very pretty and we're seeing nice clean sweeps on pinpoint Doppler. So we're going to stay rain free for the rest of the night. Temperatures already dropped down to the 70s. We're seeing 76 degrees in Jackson, 77 in Paintsville, 77 for London and Somerset as well. Middles we're just a little bit warmer at 79 degrees. We're seeing 76 in Buckhorn, Kentucky. Certainly a great weekend to be out on the lake. Temperatures there again, 76 degrees. Winds fairly calm out of the southwest. Now we officially topped out at 80 in Jackson today, just two degrees shy of our old record. And for the next couple of hours, temperatures are going to range in the 70s, eventually dropping down to the 60s. And we're going to bottom out in the upper 50s across eastern Kentucky. Very warm out there. That's definitely not a secret. We're going to stay warmer the next couple of days thanks to this area of high pressure just to our south bringing in lots of moisture from the south from the Gulf of Mexico and just to our west we have an area of low pressure that's going to bring some cooler weather out to the west eventually we will get some cooler weather but not in time for the start of the week in fact tomorrow and Tuesday both could be record breakingly warm our old record or our current record 81 degrees for both days and tomorrow we're expecting a forecast high of around 82 and Tuesday even warmer than that so if we make it to where we're forecasting, that record will likely be shattered. Now for tomorrow, things are going to be fairly quiet. We're going to see nice clear skies throughout most of Monday, so we're looking at a very nice forecast for your Monday other than the warm temperatures. Now those are going to stick around for early Tuesday morning as well. Temperatures only expected to drop down into the lower and mid 60s throughout the mountains for Tuesday and then throughout the rest of the morning we will see a little bit of cloud cover. Temperatures already making their way to the mid 70s by around lunchtime for Tuesday and then after that warming up even more as I mentioned around 84 degrees for a forecast high for Tuesday. Now we certainly do need some rainfall. We should be around half an inch of rain, an inch and a half of rain for Jackson and just a little bit lower than that at around an inch inch and a, and a few quarters. Now, we're not anywhere close to that. We definitely need some rain. We are going to get some rain later on this week, and with that comes some cooler air. So on, two, on Thursday, we are expecting a cold front to move through the area. With that comes some rain chances. We're going to see those rain chances sticking around throughout the rest of the weekend as well. And that weekend looking pretty nice. Now we are expecting those chances of those rain chances to go away for Saturday. Not expecting that 40% chance of rain, Angela. Okay, Allison, thanks so much. Coming up next in sports.